Hi, Josh. It's Josh from Lake Bell, Minnesota. And you all are watching Trucker Josh Vlogs on YouTube. Morning, everybody. The day has arrived. The day is today. Not yesterday. Not tomorrow day. Today. It's Friday. Gotta go up to Arbor again, pick something up. Not a full trailer load today, so it shouldn't take too long. Quickly go grab that, bring it back, see what else they got for me. And then we'll head into the weekend. It feels so good to wake up and go outside and it not being cold knock on wood it's so nice that spring is here oh so many plans so many plans for now plan number one is get some coffee into my bloodstream okay, nothing can happen until that happens i don't want to alarm you or anything but uh that is green grass I really do much prefer the time of year when the earth is tilted towards the sun in our favor. I think it's much better. And you know what? I think we should figure out a way to keep it this way so that the northern hemisphere is always tilted towards the sun all year round. I don't think Australia would mind. I mean, you guys wouldn't mind not having your like 50 million degree summers, right? You guys could just stay in your like comfortable, you know, 20 degree winter, right? You guys would be okay with that. We could just balance out the temperatures a little bit and even it out so that all year round we get the same temperatures. But the only problem with that is if you do, or if you don't have winter here, all of the bugs and critters that I don't like won't die. In winter that is the best part of winter all of the bugs and critters that I don't like die so we'd have to figure something about that and we'd have mosquitoes all year round maybe this is a bad idea this is a bad idea never mind I didn't say anything we're off to go and pick up some freight in Arberg the great the great the mighty the great the great Arberg maybe not Maybe so. I don't know. Are you from Arburg? I have, uh, I have to only pick up like less than 30 feet today, I think. So it's not even a full load. So we got one of our old roll tights, our old new roll tights, or our new old roll tights behind us. The ones that open in the middle, unit uh, or trailer 416 DR. So it's a step deck. That's what the D means, and the R means it's a roll tight. Or, uh, curtain it opens right so we'll see these trailers are uh well, they work <laughs> they work we'll just leave it at that they're they're, they're, they're all right it, roll tights are expensive right these are 48 foot steps and uh, uh they came up for sale from place that we know and we just decided to well, I didn't decide I'm not part of those decisions but they decided to buy them we really do need roll tights so they, they help out a lot they may not be the prettiest on the fleet but they work at least the truck looks cleaner although my window is a bit dirty this morning I didn't actually jump out there and uh, wipe it off we're already getting bugs from this season uh, that's my bad. I usually do that in the mornings. Uh, I guess I got a little lazy this morning. Even Trucker Josh gets lazy. We all get lazy, don't we? I mean, you can't be running at 110% all the time. Every once in a while, you gotta take a break, right? <laughs> now I'm gonna feel bad all day. I'm gonna wash these windows as soon as I stop. No excuses. It is very windy again today. The whole roll tight behind me is like leaning. The wind is coming from there. I'm headed east, so uh, it's coming from the south, which means it should be blowing in warmer air. We'll see. 
At least the grass is green, right? It's hard to get a good day in Manitoba. It's either minus 50, a blizzard, pouring rain, or windy. That's probably why we're a flyover province. No one wants to be here. Terrible weather all year round, except for our two weeks of summer. But then you're uh, getting eaten alive by mosquitoes. And there's so many of them, they'll almost carry you away. So you really can't win, but there's no poisonous snakes here. That's a win. There's no poisonous animals that'll kill you. Not very many that you gotta worry about though, so. That's a win. Okay, so you merged in, I moved over for you, now you're gonna lock me in the left lane. Come on, buddy, that's my pet peeve. I moved over for you, it's so rude to hold me in this lane now. Hey, he won't let me back in that lane. Unreal. Do people not realize that? Like, maybe that's not a common thing that they teach. But you know, when you merge into traffic and traffic was nice enough to move over for you, because it's not a law, I don't have to move over. That's a courtesy, that's just because I'm being nice. If I move over and then you just pull in and just drive right beside me and don't let me back into the right lane, I find that to be extremely rude. Especially since in Canada here, we know most of the trucks, if not all, are governed and we can't go any faster even if we want to. means we're just driving side by side and now no traffic can get past and I look like the bad guy holding up the fast lane because I was being nice and moved over to let you in but now I'm looking like the bad guy to everyone behind me but really you're the bad guy because you're not letting me back into the slow lane where I belong right am I just overthinking this I'm trying to be relatable here I'm pretty sure you guys can relate to that you see, if we didn't have speed limiters on our trucks in Canada, we could just speed up and get in front of you. But in that case, sometimes the people merge in and they just speed up with you, right? These are things truckers deal with every day. And the average person out here probably has no idea. They don't realize what bugs us because they're not in big trucks. That's what I'm here for. So I'm not complaining, just trying to educate while complaining. The cop in front of this vehicle forgot to turn his emergency lights off. He had someone pulled over on the side of the road and then uh, just as I was approaching them, they, they went back onto the road and the person drove off. And now he's driving back to the station and he forgot that he has his emergency lights on. <laughs> They've been on for five miles. <laughs> we were at a stoplight and everything back there. He just had them on the whole time. I tried to let him know, but uh, he wasn't watching me. Now everybody's all confused. <laughs> you see him up there? I know the fisheye lens on the on the camera. Sometimes you can't see is as far. He's just driving down the highway with his emergency lights flashing. Clearly forgot. <laughs> Are any of you police officers who in my in my comment section? Let me know. Has, have you ever done that before? Be honest. Have you ever forgotten to turn your emergency lights off and just been driving down the road wondering why everyone's getting out of your way like crazy? I wonder how long he's gonna leave them on for. I've got a turn up ahead in about two miles. We'll see if he's still got him on then. This guy in front of me turned into traffic when that cop was already on the road. So he turned in, he merged in in between us. And now he's a little nervous. He doesn't know why that guy has his lights on. I know why, because I saw them stop a traffic stop or whatever, finish with the traffic stop and then come back into traffic, right? So I know that he just forgot him on. This guy has no idea. He's wondering why he's got his emergency lights on. I wonder if 
it's just the back lights. Because there is a car in front of the cop up there. And he's not pulling over. I mean, even if I was in front of that cop and I thought that he had just forgotten his lights on. If there's a cop behind me with his lights flashing, I'm going to pull over. But the guy in front of him is not pulling over. So I'm wondering if the cop just has his rear facing emergency lights on. So people in front don't actually know that they're on. And how would he know that they're on unless if he sees that the button is on, right? I don't know how it works. I've never actually been in a cop car. Though I'd like to, I'd love to drive a cop car. Are any of you cops out there? Are you, would you be allowed, would you be okay with me driving your cop car? I wanna turn the sirens on. I know I'm eight years old, I don't care. One of my life goals that's on the bucket list is to drive a cop car with the sirens on. I don't wanna just turn them on in the parking lot. I wanna drive with the sirens on. <laughs> They're probably not allowed to let me drive with the sirens on, but I'm pretty sure they'd let me turn them on in the parking lot. He still got them on. Oh, he turned them off. <laughs> he finally realized it. <laughs> that only took Oh, about, what, 10, 12 miles? So it's not too long, not too long. Probably happens quite often. Now he's looking around, <laughs> probably checking to see if anybody noticed that his lights were on. <laughs> yeah, we all noticed, bud, we all noticed. <laughs> I got to turn up here anyways, but oh, that was some entertainment for the bath. Entertainment for the afternoon. You can tell it's been a bit of a boring Friday. That was my entertainment. The sign made it here from Ontario. They bubble wrapped it for me. Thank you very much. No damage, as far as I can see. Just putting that ladder over that there to protect it. I'm going to need to get a bigger ladder. It's going up there. The bottom of it will be probably about in line with that center bar of the flag there. Right there, right in the center, a little higher. I think that's where it'll go. Either that or the bottom of the sign will be level with the top of the flag, so it's way up there. I'm gonna have to consult my, uh, my, my, my OCD. I have to consult my my inner alignments and figure out what makes the most sense here. But yeah, I want it right there. I need to get a US flag too, eh? I got no US flag in here. You yeah, know, that's the closest thing I have to a US flag. It's just don't tread on me. That's just the sort of like, hey, get out of my way. I don't have any US flag in here. My neighbors are gonna feel left out very soon if I don't put one up. But I have four flags now, two there, two there. So if I put up a US flag, that means I have to put up another flag to balance it. What other flag should I put up? It'd be cool if I could get a TJV flag, a flag made with my logo on it. That'd be cool. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. Got to make sure that uh, the water's turned off. Is that in here? Water's off. Okay, good. Got my whole cleaning zone here. I showed you this already, right? Couple of a range of cleaning products. Just trying stuff out. And then I got some Never Dull there. Some window marker. Uh, quadruple steel wool. Double O steel wool and the main attraction, Bullschnott. The best, hands down. I'm gonna go home now. I'm really hungry and I've gotta start editing videos. It's Friday night. I don't have time to spend here today because we're going out tomorrow. Uh, that shop door is whistling over there. Have you been hearing that this whole time? Hello there, I won't forget about you. Don't you worry. Uh, this door here is... It's very windy outside right now. Like extremely windy. A 
That's pretty bad, eh? Hope no trees fall down. Thanks. Okay, keys. I need the keys. Everything else looks good, looks good. All right, everybody. Let's head home.